Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play How to Full Boyfriend. When we left off last time, oh, poor Ryuta. We learned that he's the he's carrying the disease now that Nagaki had. And that Nagaki killed himself because he had the disease that was fatal to humans. The doctor has been carefully cultivating Ryuta the whole time he's been there at St. Pigeonations and just infected him with the live virus yesterday, which is why Lavinia died when we came to see him. So Ryuta has to grapple with that knowledge that he he isn't really responsible for her death, the doctor is, but Ryuta feels responsible for it. He was the, the instrument used to cause her to die. So, doctor wants him to destroy all of humanity because, man, fulfill an old promise, and the old promise that Ryuta made, or, yeah, it was the wish. It turns out that the doctor saw Ryuta when he was a little boy. The doctor had worked with his father. Father died and asked the doctor to promise to like help out his kid or whatever. So, <laughs> so the doctor sought him out and that was oh man, Ryuta's wish was that there wouldn't be any more fighting between birds and humanity. And so the doctor is trying to act like all reasonable like well the only way to make that happen is if one of the other species goes extinct. So I'm making your wish come true. This is what she wanted, and it's totally not. And a part of me, I was debating with myself, like, is it just that the doctor is so utterly crazy and oblivious to things that he doesn't realize that a normal person would be horrified by the solution he's come up with? And no, no, because he's, he's, the way he's talking, he's acting like he's totally convinced. Oh, I'm fulfilling my promise made to, that I made to your father and to you. This is your wish. I'm doing it. Why aren't you happy? But no, we've seen from the way... Like when he tells people that he wants to see their world crumble around them and how they handle it. No, he's a sadistic fella. He's deliberately interpreted the young Ryuta's wish this way. So, I mean, how horrifying. He's just shattering. Poor Ryuta. A lot of it is jealousy. He was saying that Ryuta's dad was... A, he respected him hugely. He was like the best researcher and he realized he could never surpass him. So I think that's why he's decided to set out to destroy Ryuta's life. But anyhow, let's continue here. When your father died, my world was altered. One might say that his influence over me grew after death. Both for good and for ill. Kawara Ryuji. All I can recall of him now is his voice and the color of his wings. He rarely returned home, always leaving Mother and me alone. Oh, that's right, because um, that was one of the things that his father had told the doctor, that he regretted not spending more time with his son. You did this to carry out my father's will? You misunderstand. This was not just a parting kindness between colleagues. I doubt that there is anyone in this world with a stronger sense of duty than mine. Oh, well, you're a nice humble one. This was his final challenge to me. And you see the result. But your refusal is hardly rational. I was trying only to grant your wish, and had you but accepted, it would be so. You know that that is not what I was meant by the wish. Are you dissatisfied with something? Uh, yeah. A world without strife, where no one will have a loved one stolen from them. Ryuta, even if all of humanity is destroyed, what's to stop there being strife within the birds? We know there's strife within the birds. We know from the story of Sukuya and Yuya. Taking humans out of the equation isn't going to change that people will still suffer. That is the world I wish for. I never asked for a world where the human race is killed. Exactly. A pity that you did not say so eight years ago. Oh, come on. Come on. You expect us really to believe, Doctor, that you just genuinely misinterpreted. What absurd contract was this? There is no power in prayer. I should never have met you. Doctor, my wish ends today. Father is no longer in this world. There's no reason for you to chase after his final will anymore. Ho, 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 ho. No, he's doing this because he wants to. <laughs> oh, we get regular laughter out of him. 
Does this mean you are sympathizing with me? No, you're a horrific monster. We're just saying, quit trying to kill everybody. Oh, how I have fallen. I can feel his pitying gaze even now. Very well, the contract ends today. And I must admit defeat. It is not over yet. We must open the gate of Tartarus in the depths of the abyss. Um, okay. We only have about ten minutes until the humans come in from above. Yeah, what are, what are we going to do? I see you're still alive, gentlemen. You got a plan, Leone? Mr. Leone, I bring with me all those who had taken refuge in the gym. What are they going to do? We're all just going to gather down in the basement? I guess we could try hiding down here and hope the humans don't find us. Oh, it's like something out of a science fiction movie. I bet it was built by Men in Black. <laughs> Rad. Oh, you guys have no idea the import of what's going on here. Well, I guess nobody's panicking anyway. Mr. Shirogane, I will recover Sakazaki's body before I leave. Have no fear. I'm grateful to you. The exit is no doubt activated by the vital signs of the researchers who work here. Correct. Do not fear, I shall lead you to it. And where does it exit to? Hoo -hoo. The doctor is even creepier when he's being cooperative. Are we just going to accept that, okay, he's decided to get... Are there going to be consequences for this? Like, there's got to be some kind of bird legal system, police force or something, right? Like, is there bird prison? Because he really needs to go to it. I do not base my actions on foolish pride or emotion. I carried out an experiment, and I have now obtained the result. I have nothing more to gain or lose here. Well, one would assume possibly your life or freedom. Is that everyone? Thank God. Shall we go, Kawara? Can you stand? Uh, yeah. But... We need to bring Waitley with us. He understands. I think everyone else has gone outside. Doctor, I shall not forget what has taken place here. Once we are outside, I shall see that you face judgment. Good, thank you, Sakuya. Your words are haughty and immature, as always. Oh, you got some kind of plan? Do as you please, if you can. Yeah, he's got a plan. I will indeed remember my face, villain. Well, who knows? I find you uninteresting, so I may well forget. <laughs> See? He enjoys saying things to deliberately hurt people. I, I I do believe that this was a huge experiment to him. He's accepting gracefully that, eh, didn't work out. I didn't get to kill all of humanity. But it was a fun ride. Interesting as we went, I did get to, you know, horribly torture this one person and put her brain in this scarecrow and emotionally devastate a bunch of people. So we'll call it a win. That's just the kind of guy he is. I must think carefully about my plans once I am outside. I still have much research to. <gasps> Who got him? Oh crap, and I clicked it. Doctor? I clicked too fast, what was it? A gunshot echoes through the room. The doctor collapses. Madness, there should still be time before the humans. Wait. Mr. Nanaki, how do you shoot a gun? <laughs> with his little with his little bird claws? <laughs> Is that what he's doing? He's like standing on one leg and he's clutching the gun in his other leg. Pulls his toe in to pull the trigger. A pistol is in his hand. He wobbles over to the doctor with the same unsteady, careless gait as always. And Ooh, makes sure that doctor is done. Wah! This is the end of your research. I See, this is one of those things. I know that in theory, vigilante justice is a problem, and you're supposed to allow all the... You know, if there's a proper system of judgment, then that's what they should have done. They should have taken the doctor to that. But I can't hold it against Kazuaki for going this route and ensuring that the doctor doesn't hurt anyone else.
Nanaki, what? Stop. The doctor should have a fair, fair trial once we... Mm. A fair trial. Hmm. What do you think, doctor? I think a fair trial would probably find him guilty anyhow. Ah, uh, well. I am impressed at your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. Hmm. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, Dr. Obama. No, Issa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me, where is Nagaki? Oh, because he said something about a piece still remaining or whatever. Nanaki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Oh, I don't doubt it. I assumed that he had shot the doctor to kill, but okay. So he's going to still take him to justice, but he shot the uninjured left side, so... Hopefully, I think his plan is that he's incapacitated the doctor from being able to harm anyone. Oh, is that it? Oh, <laughs> I'd quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother. He was a quail. <gasps> oh! Oh! Nanaki's his brother. Okay! So, he had an ulterior motive to come here, too. Nagaki, are you by yourself here again? You should play in the park with everyone else. I'm fine. I would just get tired. Isn't talking to me a waste of time, Hitori? You've been busy recently, have you not? I know we're short on money. That's not something you need to worry about. We adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Hitori. You're only five years older than me, after all. You don't think I should be working? No, that's not what I meant. I just can't, I can't do anything. Poor guy. I at least want to stay out of your way. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. Exactly. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work. Or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nagaki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away. Right? Hmm, September 2nd, 2180. Audible house, where the rest of the war orphans and I live together. That's right. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach at the local school to help make ends meet. Going to work and coming home. Every Friday, we all gather together and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work, like me. And children like Nagaki, who stay home. Our family is a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, or we could pool our money and buy something. I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone wants first. But this day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It's an attack by the Human Liberation Front. We can't let anybody, anybody in. We sent two human negotiators, but they were shot. We're going to storm the place. Get back, it's dangerous. Hey you, are you listening? I remember angry shouts coming from every direction, but I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only things I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today, no matter what. Oh. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that was left were corpses in ruin, and... Oh! Everyone, everyone is covered in blood, immobile, 
The humans, the security forces, and my family, what did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes had already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? It's right You were outside. Good. Nakaki, you're alive, so they're the- yeah, they're the last two. Everyone else? Mm. I see. Nagaki was hiding in the innermost room. He must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered throughout the room. Nagaki, were you afraid? I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Hitori. I wasn't here when you needed me. Well, you couldn't help that. You had no idea this was going to happen. Don't apologize, Hitori. I don't know how I could live if you were gone, too. When I found him then, I didn't notice, but... None of the human corpses in that room had been shot. Oh, yeah. Because he carries that illness. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Right. It's a little... Lonely. Yes. Hitori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I can do to help? You just have to be happy and well. Don't push yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? I noticed almost as soon as we'd moved out of Hattleful House. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he was getting worse and worse. What would start out as a slight cold would turn into a high fever and go on for days. It was painful to watch. Was it really just his weak body? I couldn't do anything. Should we get a doctor, Nagaki? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nagaki, wait. You still have a fever. Don't worry about the dishes. I'll take care of them. I told you I'm fine. Don't... If you just say how you feel outright, I'll feel better too, Nagaki, okay? But, oh, this is one of those... It's so hard, because I can understand where he's coming from. He doesn't want to feel like he's a burden. But then I also understand his brother's point of view. Like, if you're not feeling well, it's okay. I don't mind taking care of you. I don't mind shouldering extra to ease things for you. It's okay. It's hard. It's hard to accept that kind of help when you know that there's an un imbalance in the amounts that you're contributing. How about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. What do you... Whenever you say you're fine, you never are. Okay. Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow I'm taking you to a doctor. This is highly unusual. Nagaki has a genetic condition which impairs his immune system. Impairs his immune system? All living creatures inherit defense systems against viruses and the like from their parents, and we call them the immune system. But Nagaki's is abnormally weak. And that's why he gets sick easily? Indeed. He can become infected with diseases that bodies such as yours or mine would fight off easily. Oh my gosh, don't tell me the doctor he took him to unwittingly was <laughs> our horrible, evil doctor. It's probably best if he avoids going outside, as that could bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill with little or no warning. Please, can you cure him? I will find whatever money it takes. He's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is hereditary. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. We went to many hospitals, and I talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. Someone, please save Nagaki. Anyone. I'll do anything. We had been all alone, but we found a home together. And it was taken from us. And now this. Someone, please help us.
Soon after the start of 2183, a letter arrived for Nagaki to go to St. Pigeonations. It was from a researcher at the St. Pigeonations Medical Institute, a Mr. Isa Soluma. I have received a report about a boy named Fujishiro Nagaki from a doctor at a certain hospital. Okay, so he didn't... That's, that makes me feel a little better that Nagaki wasn't taken directly to the doctor and the doctor started his nefarious plans from there. At least it was just that the information was routed to him from someone else. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare, so my fellow researchers and I would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing it. We hereby invite him to come study at St. Pigeonations. As if you didn't have a cure, you horrible person. We believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will bring great advances to all of bird science. The medical center will pay for his tuition. St. Pigeonations is a school of great prestige. Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. The medical center is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the center, out of concern for his delicate health. He will have access to professional medical expertise any time he should need it. Please consult with the rest of your family, and if you are interested, contact me at the following address. I will be waiting. And of course he would say yes, because this is one of those offers like, all of our problems are solved, here we go. Isa Suma. This is amazing, Nakaki. I'm glad we went to so many hospitals. I never expected an invitation like this. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Hitori. But you'll be able to go to school. I can only teach you what I know, and there's a lot that I don't know. And you'll be able to make friends? The doctors there will help with your illness so you won't have to be sick? Do you not want me here? Hitori, that's not what it is. He just wants a better life for you. Of course I do, but I'm worried. If you were to get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it would be better for you to stay with the doctors. I'll be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Become strong, Nagaki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you, however long it takes. Okay. Aww. But none of it worked out how he hoped, and so Nagaki enrolled in St. Pigeonations. There had been a lot of us at Hotiful House, and after that I was Naga I was with Nagaki. I was lonely living by myself for the first time, but I was more worried about Nagaki. I hope he makes good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least we'll have an easier life there than here. And most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure. Except they, they weren't summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. I'm going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I wanted to come home, but they said this would be better for me. And of course, you're trusting your doctors, so why would you argue? How are you? I'll write again soon. I asked Dr. Isa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not the only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Summer's half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. I miss you, Hitori. At least they let him mail letters. Like, instead of just writing them and then, like, throwing them away or something. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hitori. Don't worry about me. I was worried. Nagaki hadn't told me he was fine since he promised not to three years ago. Oh. What are they doing to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I tried calling Dr. Isa, but he always replied with, Progress is good and everything is fine. If everything is fine, why won't they let me talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I need to know if he's really alright. He said that he was undergoing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. How do I get there? I need to find the entrance to the basement. That was when I heard the alarm. I could hear urgent footsteps and the sound of wings. This building has all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. But I was greeted at the corner not by guards, but by panicked researchers. All shouting the same thing, all heading for the exit. Fire! Fire! What? A fire! Subject zero zero set a fire! Call the fire department. Black smoke rolls towards me from the inner corridors. Nagaki, where's Nagaki? 
Nagaki, say something, please. Where are you? It's happening again. Nagaki needs me, and I'm not there. I always leave him alone when he's in pain. Oh, come on, you can't, you can't blame yourself like that. The smoke is clogging my lungs with its foul stench, but I run onwards anyway. Nagaki is there, in a room filled with fire. Nagaki, it's me, Hitori. I'm here to save you. Hitori. What happened? What did they do to you? Come on, we have to get out of here. I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shuts the door, and I hear the lock click shut. Open the door, Nagaki. Hitori. I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? I'm a fool. All this time I thought you were getting better. Thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing. Nagaki, please. Come home with me to our home. But he can't. He can't, Hitori. Listen, Hitori. I recorded everything that happened here and hid it in the library. Ooh. It's wrong. This is the only way. Stop them. What are you talking about? We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor, Hitori? Anything. Please. Please. Make sure there's nothing left of my body. Oh, yep, so that's why he's dead set on getting the last bit of it. And... Zune Hitori. I had heard that he died after the fire, but it would seem that our investigation was lacking. It is hardly easy to change your name and face. Yeah, I would like to know about that, because the feathers totally looked different, so... Nagaki. He's calling. He's calling me, you know? Oh yeah, Nagaki said something about his brother, seeing his brother, uh-uh. Isa, I came to greet Nagaki. Where is he? I see you are losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious. I've been waiting for this from the beginning. He told me what you were doing to him here. But then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa. Waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined the faculty. He's still here, isn't he? Nagaki. There were indeed some pieces of him left after the fire. They would have degraded in mere hours had I left them. If it pleases you to call those bits of meat Fujishiro Nagaki, I will not attempt to stop you. <laughs> this, the thing I like about the doctor, though, even though he's horrible, is he, even when he's everything's arrayed against him, even when his plan failed, he's just still trying to needle people. It's like he, you just can't ruffle him. This guy's always calm and collected. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's body. What? You won't die just yet, Isa. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Nagaki? I have to take him home now. If by Nagaki you mean what was left of him after the fire, then it is Mr. Kawara's liver. Oh, is that how he made... Part of the, like, transferring the, the live disease or whatever? The cells from his body that contain the Charon virus, uh-huh, are now inside Mr. Kuara, parasitizing him. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nagaki what he thinks we should do with you. Mr. Nanaki comes over to me, the same soft smile on his face as when he teaches class. Can you hear me, Nagaki? I'm sorry I made you wait so long. I'm here now. Sir, it's me, Kawara Ryuta, from your class. Please snap out of it. I don't know what happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not the time for such foolery. We have only a few more minutes before the humans enter the school grounds. It won't take them long to find this place. Hmm, could you move over for a second, Shirogane? I need to talk to Kuara. He points the gun at Sakuya. Ooh, he is not messing around. 
Okay, no no need to, to put the gun towards the good guys. Let's Sakuya, he's serious. It's too noisy in here. Come on, Kawara. Let's go into that room. Just the two of us. What he knows that Nagaki's ghost lingers around here? Alright, to the library. What are you thinking? Are you planning to lock yourself in? Open the door. Open it, I say. Oh, no, the, the basement where it all happened. Okay, that makes sense. Issa said he's in your liver, didn't he? They couldn't go back to the library because the humans are all going to come pouring in. Where is the liver, I wonder? You're not going to try and take it out of me, are you? Do you know, Kawara? Sir, Nagaki would never have wanted this. He stares thoughtfully at my stomach, a knife in his hand. Oh, come on! <laughs> Mr. Nanaki! <laughs> My body feels weak. I think I must have put too much into that fight earlier. I won't be able to resist. Nagaki. Nagaki. Nagaki, can you hear me? I've come to save you again. Where are you? Tell me. What part of Kawara do I need to cut open to find you? D none of it. Just, come on, aren't things bad enough? Nagaki. Nagaki. Nagaki, Nagaki, he's just gonna keep calling him. Sir, listen to me. He moves the knife from one place to another, as if making an estimation. Don't, don't do this. Come on, you were, you were being such a good person. You have this just desire for vengeance. It was tying together. Don't, don't go crazy on me now, Nagaki. He's going to. Oh, I see. It's hide and seek. I'll look as hard as I can then. Just a little longer. We'll be able to go home in just a little bit, Nagaki. Together. What now? Ah. Stop it, Hitori. Oh, is this ghost going to show up? The knife is stuck deep into the wall under my wing. I can hear Nagaki's voice. But I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside me. Mr. Kawara. Let me use your body for a bit. Okay, little ghost possession. Why not? Go ahead. Can you hear me, Hitori? Of course. I've talked with you every night. You told me, Nagaki. Told me to come get you. Told me to exact revenge on Isa. No, Hitori. That was not me. I never told you to do that. Have you forgotten what I asked you to do, Hitori? The second thing. I remember. Of course I remember. So let's go home. Listen, Hitori. I'm no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. Who said that? Oh, I see. It was Zisa, wasn't it? Only he would say something mean like that. Oh my gosh, Nanaki is totally off balance now. No, it wasn't him. Don't worry, Nagaki. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry. Hitori, I never asked for you to come for me. I never asked for you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nagaki. It was Nagaki. I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. Oh, so this is just his own guilt. He's thinking that that is, must be how Nagaki felt, but no. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. Wait, what? I will not forgive Hitori. I'm sorry, Nagaki. But I know that no apology will ever fix it. Sir, what? There is a shadow in Hitori's heart. Oh, but it's of his own doing, right? Yes, his own shadow, pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hitori. I'm here. I know, I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That's what you want, isn't it? If you want me to carry this pain, I will, Nagaki. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. 
Oh, he's crying. Man, he's been carrying a, this burden for a long time. Tortured by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nagaki. I'm sorry. It's really... I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. Alright. So, how do we get rid of this shadow? Hitsuri, I was tortured by them here, in this place. It was terrible. Isa and the others should die in pain. Well, only Isa. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Mm. What is wrong? These choices, they feel very similar. Revenge will solve nothing. Uh, we're gonna go with that's wrong. Sir, you and Nagaki both lost those most important to you to strife. You should know best of all people that revenge helps no one. It brings no happiness, only pain. If I hadn't been there, Nagaki would never have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nagaki. If I had been better, this would have never have happened. Everything would have been fine if you'd never met me. But it wouldn't. If I hadn't been there, you never would have felt pain. Sir, why... Yeah, why do you think he was sad? The time Nagaki spent with you was his greatest treasure. I know how wonderful it is to be able to be together with loved ones, too. Nagaki is glad he got to be with you, sir. There's nothing to regret. Come with me, Hitori. Look at me, Hitori. Shut up, Shadow. You're only my voice, Hitori. I will tear your heart to pieces, and when it heals, I will tear it again, and again, and again. That is your punishment. It will be wonderful to live with me again. Wonderful. Hitori. Blame yourself no more. Please, Hitori, listen to me. The voice you hear is that of your own shadow. You've been hurting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. You asked me for two things, Nagaki. The first was, come save me. So I... Listen to me, Hitori. My first wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. Right, so that he couldn't hurt anyone else. As long as I live, as long as my body remains, someone will try to use the Charon virus. That virus must disappear, and my body with it. It will bring only sadness as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Issa, on all those who brought you pain. Yes, I need to grant this wish. I need to... Hittery. My second wish was... No, Hittery. That was not my wish. Remember, Hittery. Remember my final wish. Alright, what was it? It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family, and we need you. It doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work. Or go to school. It's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nagaki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. Full stomach scares the bad things away, right? What a beautiful sunset. I guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nagaki? I'm fine. Hitori? Hmm? It would be easier for you without me, right? Why do you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. Yeah, but if we lost you, then it's okay that the, the financial costs are worth it, because we get to have you with us. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If you had that money for yourself, you could buy better food. 
you wouldn't have to work so much. So you would be better off without me. No, because then I wouldn't have you. Don't say that, Nagaki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nagaki. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but... Losing family is hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love, forever. So listen, maybe it looks like I'm working just for you, but it's for me too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Hitori. I just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Oh, is that the second wish? Stop that already. You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well and we can sleep well too. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? But now because of his guilt, the memory of Nagaki is a burden on him. So yep, let that burden go. I hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Yes. Yes, my second wish was live, Hitori. Live and be happy. Did we get through to him? Nagaki, I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Hitori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell why I was still here. At first I thought my remains, and the parts of me that are inside Mr. Kawara now, were keeping me here. But I don't think so now. I think I was worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I can't, Nagaki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you. We've stayed here too long, Hitori. We have to move on. Aww. Don't worry, we'll meet again, somewhere, sometime. Mr. Kawara, thank you. Thank you, Nagaki. Kawara, are you unhurt? Yeah, I'm fine. We made it through all right. How unexpected. If it were me, your insides would have divulged themselves and their secrets long ago. Thanks for your input, Doc. <laughs> Nanaki, I will not forgive this madness. Don't worry about it, Sakuya. It's already over. Everything's taken care of. Let's just move on and not get anyone all upset again, eh? We need to get out. We're already out of time. Indeed. Now, what are we going to do with this doctor, though? Nagaki was kept frozen here, right, doctor? Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Lavinia. What are you saying, Kawara? Come with us at once. I see. Kawara? I thought you would say that. The Charon virus has by now colonized your body quite completely. Okay, so Ryuta realizes that he's utterly deadly to everyone, and... Were you to leave, any humans you encountered would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely there is a way to remove the virus. Nope. Because they weren't studying this whole time to find a cure for it. Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it is quite tenacious. Even if we were to remove the tissues from Mr. Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness! Lunacy! Sorry, Sakuya. The same goes for Miss Waitley's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given Labor Nine's behavior and the subsequent damage she was dealt, there is no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. With current medical technology, anyway. What, you're going to deep-freeze the both of us in the hopes that in the future something can be done? Shirogane, let's go outside. 
Do you mean to leave Kawara here? Well, you can't take me with. How deep does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one day we may be able to remove the virus from his body. But what if someone else nefarious gets a hold of me in the meantime and tries to rip apart my body and use the virus the same as we've just been through? I think that Nagaki would say that same. The same. Well, Mr. Shirogane, I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. Yeah, he's holding that hope that he'll be able to get a hold of me and use this virus for his own purposes. I feel as if this one day has brought an entire lifetime's worth of fatigue. I just want to rest for a little while. I'm worried about Mother. Sukuya, could you tell her I'll be back one day? But you don't know that for sure, Rita. Listen, Kawara. A label? No. I never go back on my word. No matter how long it takes, I will come back for you. I swear. So, promise me, please. Promise me that you'll leave this place with me alive. Right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. A lot sure happened today, Lavinia. It certainly did. Does this mean we're finally getting into recap mode, Ryuta? I'm half sick from being stuck out here not even knowing what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I guess you only got to see bits and pieces of the story. Yep, so will you fill me in, please? Mm, I guess we have plenty of time for it. Going to miss eating udon. Really? <laughs> the noodles. Those noodles. But having you here makes things at least a little better. Right? Where do I start? Everything that's happened, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it all. Well, I guess that's about as happy an ending as we can get, given the circumstances. <laughs> All right, we'll let the credits run properly. That was that was really fantastic. It was it was utterly bizarre. Well, the whole thing has been so absurd. It's been delightful, but oh man, this this last ending, this was great. <laughs> All these twists and turns, but I really like that they tied everything back to no birds were harmed during the making of this game. I really liked that they tied everything back together. I quite enjoy that. Like the little touch with um, Nanaki is Nagaki's brother. That I wasn't expecting that. That was really neat. The the connection between the doctor and Ryuta and Lavinia from so long ago. Yeah, I really and I and I liked the bit with uh, Sakuya and Yuya as well. Not really a label. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty fantastic. All right, I'm gonna click. Is it just gonna stay here? No, nope, there we go. Anything else at the end? <gasps> Madness! Why, if it isn't my darling little brother. Salutations, what is going on here? You scum, you villain, explain yourself. Why are you still alive? Yeah, I was pretty sure you died. Why? Well, for starters, I could never bring myself to leave all the ladies sad and alone, Yuya. How much must you mock me before you will be satisfied? Hello again. Leone? Truth be told, Leone here gave me an antidote. I was loitering around on the border between life and death, and he pulled me back up in a miraculous revival. Well, that's good news! There's a bit of... a bit of more... happiness, like, debatably, the... the, the uh, Lavinia Ryuta ending is kind of happy, at least they're together. This is something we can be fully happy about. But he said he was going to go recover your body. I do not recall saying I was going to recover his corpse. Oh, come on, guys. You could have let us know that he wasn't dead. That would have been nice. Lunacy. Madness. Inconceivable. Give it back. Give me back the time and mental energy I spent mourning you. <laughs> 
warned me. I'm flattered. Ah. We can't stay long, Sakazaki Yuya. It's time to set out on your next bright, massive mission. Oh, don't we get time to, to get to learn to be brothers who get along with each other and... You know, come on. This is your chance to regain the department's trust. Roger that. Let's go. Sexy and suave. <laughs> Cuckoo! Oko-san smells food. There is deliciousness nearby. <laughs> Black bean Donna. Cuckoo! Angel, do you have food? Ah, what did I... God, the demon spores encroach again? Ooh, stick them up. Oko-san demands your beans or your life. <laughs> so you appear, bone white bird of bean eating. Oh, is that his name? By the oath of old, join me. They're still going at it. <laughs> Hello, Shirogane. How are you? What? What's this guy doing here? Why are you, of all people, pushing Wamane's wheelchair? I would never have expected to see you two together. Taking responsibility for injuries dealt to another party by tending to them seems to be a natural enough reaction to me. No, but you deserved the injuries given you. I need to apologize somehow, don't I? No, you were, you were in the right. If you change your mind and decide it's time to exact revenge again, I never met either of you, understand? Come on, Shirogane. That would never happen. Probably. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. I can feel the suspense in the air. You... You are, you are so delightfully evil. Somehow I feel like attempting to apply ethical guidelines to either of you is completely futile. Anyway, I needed to talk to you. I have the results from the experiment the other day. There were no problems? None at all. It was a perfect success. So what, is Sakuya gonna be a doctor? Is that what he's decided to do to himself? With himself? To save Ryuta? Well, I guess that means it's time, doesn't it? I have the date. If you can come, please do. Mr. Kawara, are we going to get, like, a full happy ending after all? Mr. Kawara, Miss Waitley, can you hear me? Morning is almost here. Wake up, Kawara. Waitley, I told you I wouldn't go back on my word. Alright, let's see. What have we got? What have we got? <laughs> Look at the doctor with this cleaver. <laughs> So are we to assume, then, that they were actually able to save us? Alright, a happy ending after all. Okay, and I did just see the last achievement pop, so I'm assuming that that's everything with the game. If there's anything else that I'm wrong, um, put in the comments and I'll, I'll play some more and find it. But I think that means we have actually beat the whole thing this time, for real. This ending was incredible. This... I could see, because it was a lot of fun just playing the various romances, but I could see if someone did it a couple times and they're like, eh, I don't really care about getting all of them, that's fine, on to a new game. You would totally miss this whole epic storyline hidden within this thing. This was wonderful. Alright. Well, I'll go ahead and wind this down here then. That was Hotful Boyfriend. This was, this was fantastic fun. I, I very, very much enjoyed this. Who knew a game about a bunch of birds could be... <laughs> So much fun, I have so much emotion. <laughs> Alright, as always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Uh, head on back to my channel, there's a whole bunch of other Let's Plays there. And uh, keep an eye out, there'll be more to come. <laughs>